I reached out to you about this and you know it was after I read I read your book Grateful um which well what I love about this firstly the cover it says everything because this isn't your typical wrestling memoir I mean the very fact that it's not you you know up there on that hall of fame well actually it wouldn't have been you on the hall of fame podium I guess at that point when you read it would it be I'm trying to think actually yeah you do cover it um no I did the, the picture actually I I took that picture um I was out on my horse I lived in Arizona at the time and I was riding through a, they call it the Tonto National Forest. It's not really a forest because it's all cactuses or cacti, I should yep. say, <laughs> but it's called a forest. And uh, I was on my horse and I brought my dog with me and we were just, a, it was a beautiful day, beautiful Arizona day. And I got off my horse to give my horse a break and uh, I sat down next to a rock and I took that picture with my phone just because I thought it was a really cool picture of my dog. Yeah. And uh, then when it came time to choose the cover of the book, Guy Evans, uh, my co-author, Sherpa Guidesman, as it were, uh, <laughs> asked me if I had any interesting personal photos. And I, I sent him that one. And it it really did sum it up because in my life today, I don't think there's a more peaceful, rewarding, or meaningful time throughout my day than just being outdoors with my dog or my wife and meditating, speaking yeah. to God, listening, and and just enjoying and being grateful for everything that's around me. And and the older I get, the more I the more I really appreciate those moments. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, obviously, you, you spent so long in such a in such a busy career and in front of tens of thousands of people. It must be lovely to just have that time for some kind of solitude now and to reflect back on, on your life. I think life. the bigger thing, Ben, I think, Ben, the bigger thing for me is it's not so much the physical part of being busy all the time and, and being overloaded, you know, with sensory yeah. <laughs> over, over, over whatever exposure to sensory stuff for me, it's just I, for the first time in my life, I'm, my mind is a little bit more relaxed and I'm able to think more calmly and more deeply about things as opposed to being on kind of a mental treadmill while I'm trying to check a bunch of boxes and achieve yeah. a bunch of things. Now I'm to the point where I really appreciate life much more because I've slowed it down. Not a lot. I'm still really pretty busy, a lot busier than I thought I would be at 70 years old, but I appreciate things more now than I did in the past because I've slowed things down a little bit. 